Hello Scorpio, welcome to your Scorpio Sunday's reading. So, we're going to take a look at what's going on for you guys for the week of 18th to the 25th of February. And as always, we are going to begin your Scorpio Sunday's reading with some spirit animal guidance messages. Okay, oh, that was a super big spin. The beaver and balance. Right, so your message is, you're being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with your loved ones. I think you've had this one come out before, Scorpio. Uh, the balance between work, play, family and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. We have definitely had this one out for you guys before. Because mm -hmm. I went off on a bit of a tangent, didn't I? And I says, look, who the heck has got time to rest? You know, in, in this day and age, it's like, it, it just doesn't happen, does it? Everyone's working double hard, triple hard in some cases. You know, a, a lot of you are, are working not just one full-time job, but, you know, you're trying to hold down two full-time jobs um, and, and still is struggling to make ends meet. So this particular message, it is going to be a bit of a sore point, okay, purely because of the practicalities, and I get it, okay, I I understand a hundred percent okay um, I'm not going to say a thousand percent because I actually know how percentages work but you get my point um, <sighs> yeah a bit of a sore point it's like where are you going to find the free time um, it is important though okay it, it, it is and deep down you know that as well so the balance between work and play uh, and family and your career that there needs to be a happy balance, a happy medium. Um, a lot of yous right now, you're running on fumes, okay? Let's be honest. Um, you can't keep running on fumes forever, basically. Um, do you know what? Call in that mental health day at work. Call in that sick day at work, right? Just, just for one day. Um, vital that, that you take one day just for you or just for you and your family okay um i'm gonna leave that one there before i get off on a bit of a political rant um <laughs> I, I definitely avoid going off on political rants on my channel it is not the time nor the place um however i gotta keep it real okay we don't live in airy fairy land as much as we want to okay this is the reality that we're living in and people are working too hard too long and they're not getting fucking paid for it and i'm, I'm gonna leave that there because i can feel myself getting a bit ooh. right so what are your rune messages you have some runic messages for our scorpio collective please for the week 18th to the 25th of february 2024 Scorpio Collective. One you. The first card out is one you. A reason to celebrate. Yeah. Getting together with friends, getting together with family. Somehow finding that time to do just that. One you. You can see the way that this card is illustrated. It's basically the nine of uh, the nine of cups energy. Okay. Um this one says fun, joy, friendship and rest. It is time for you to take that long earned rest. Okay. Somehow. I don't know how. Okay. But it is indicating that you're going to find a way. You are going to find a way to enjoy that nine of cups energy. That, that moment of peace, rest, celebration. I'm also feeling that there's a turn of events that's happening as well for you, Scorpio, um, which is really, really optimistic, okay? It's almost like you're going to have a reason to celebrate. So again, that's something else that our Scorpio Collective have been um, missing out on for quite a while, you know, having that reason to genuinely feel happy and fulfilled. It, it's like you're seeing it now with this one you. Uh, now you do have Urus, strength, endurance, vitality and tiredness. And again, you can see by the way that this one is illustrated. 
um, it, it, it's like a, an ox or something, isn't it, that's been attacked with arrows and it's, uh, you know, it's running furiously trying to get away from the danger. Um, this would be the equivalent of the five of wands, which is, um, it could indicate power struggle. Um, it's trials of strength. Okay, it's trials of strength. So you have been going through a great trial of strength, which we have seen coming out in your energy fairly consistently. Okay, trials of strength, whether it be um, issues that other people bring to you um, through their own drama or whatever, or issues that, you know, are being created within your workplace. It's trials of strength. You're feeling tired. And we did a reading for you where the message was clear, where Spirit was saying, Scorpio, you don't have to fight anymore. So you might want to go back and check out that video because I am getting really similar energies for, the, for, for you for this week, Scorpio. And I, I think that was a couple of months ago now when that, when that video was made where you don't have to fight anymore. So this has been an ongoing issue. Strength, endurance, vitality and tiredness. It's time for you to rest for certain. Laugas, intuition, uncertainty, flexible and emotional. So you're afraid of what will happen if you have a day off. Or you're afraid of what will happen if... I'll see what this is. Anytime something goes right for you, you're always waiting for that other fit to drop and wondering when the fun times are going to end. That's what that is. So it's like, for example, say if you go to, let's just imagine you've gone to a social gathering and everyone's having fun, everyone's relaxed. You're the one that's constantly scanning the room, waiting for someone else to start drama. That's what this is. It's kind of like you're expecting something to go wrong. There is us. Thorns. Thorjun. Conflict, loathe, furious and greed. Struggles. Conflict. Feeling tied down to something or feeling torn. With, with Laugus and Thirizaz, your loyalties could be tested at this point in time. Feeling torn, who to believe, what to believe. Be cautious of any kind of self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? While it's good to be vigilant and wise, it isn't healthy to be constantly expecting the worst in, in situations all of the time. Okay, it is okay for you to enjoy yourself. It, it is okay for you to relax once in a while. It is okay for you not to be, I'm, I'm hearing hyper vigilant. Okay, it's okay for you not to be hyper vigilant. It's just an unfortunate side effect of having had many, many years surrounded by the wrong types of people. That's where that comes from. Okay. So if anyone within your social circle is there and you do not trust them, you do not trust that they're not going to start some kind of trouble or drama, shut them out of your social circle. I know it sounds really cold, but it is time for you to really look at things logically, okay? If there is someone very specific that has an issue with everyone else having fun and everyone else chilling, they need to go. They need to not be there, okay? Because some of you are definitely walking on eggshells around a specific individual and it's not right. It isn't right. You shouldn't have to walk on eggshells around anybody. Kitten, please don't. 
Right, so I will be back in a minute. I'm going to relocate the baby cat before she causes any destructions. I know she's as cute as a button, but um, she's going through that little bit of a, what is it they call it, the shitty kitty stage <laughs> at the moment. Um, she'll, grow out of, she'll grow out of it soon enough. It's just in the meanwhile. Um, yeah. Right, what's going on for Scorpio Collective, please? For the week of the 18th to the 25th. Thank you, the heart. Love, deep affection and caring. It's beautiful. It's beautiful energy. It's come out off balance. And I feel that you could be questioning someone's intent towards you. Okay. Someone, I mean, it shows me clearly, Scorpio, that someone genuinely does think the absolute world of you. But there, there's this internal conflict, this internal struggle where you might not fully believe it. Okay. So it's time to take a closer look at why that could be. What, what was your upbringing like? What was your background like? Okay. Not everybody is out to hurt you. I, I know it's really hard to believe, but that's the truth. Um, you've got the month of April that's shown its face. Now, it's possible that you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, or you could have those strong placements in your own chart. And it's funny how you've got this ox and then April directly underneath it. So something about either a Taurus or... Taurus season has been really significant somehow or it might be really significant somehow because mind that's only in two months time that's going to go quick that's going to go really quick I feel what this is indicating, Scorpio, is there's going to be a minor situation that rears its ugly head this April, so in, in around about eight weeks' time, a minor situation is going to rear its ugly head, and you know what? You're going to overcome it really, really quickly, because this month, you focused on that self-care, taking care of your own needs, making sure that you're in um, the, the, the best and healthiest uh, position possible. I feel that there's something here where it's like, it's kind of like a warning. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if you don't look after yourself right now, Scorpio, if you don't show yourself that love and care right now, something might happen in eight weeks time that could knock you off your feet. So make sure you're keeping your vibes high. You will find that happens quite frequently with tarot. It, it, it tends to give um, potentials. And it's like, this is what you're in danger of running into if you don't take care of this area right now. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if you continue on the current trajectory that you're on right now, this over here is going to be your most likely outcome. You, you can change this. You can change this. Firecracker and excitement off balance. Why is it off balance? You should feel genuinely excited, Scorpio. There, there's like a deep-rooted fear that is holding you back. Even your intuition is screaming at you that something good is going to happen. But you might not be wanting to listen to that because your past experiences have always been, fuck, any time anything's gone good for me, something's happened and it's just, you know, destroyed everything. That's not going to happen this time, Scorpio. It is not going to happen this time. 
You might be running the risk of creating this self-fulfilling prophecy, though. Which, again, we don't want to do that. We, we really do not want to do that. That's why we do tarot. Yeah, mountain. Major challenge to overcome that's coming underneath Thirizaz. I feel that the major challenge that you're trying to overcome right now is other people's greed. Other people's greed for money, for power, for influence. You can overcome this by keep on moving. And it is really difficult because you can easily become distracted by being focused on that Thirizaz energy, you know, where other people around you are um, achieving whatever they're achieving and they haven't earned that position, you know, they've somehow cheated at it. Um, you know, it's, it's the whole case of, oh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Do you know what I mean? Like certain individuals getting promotions and pay rises um, purely because they happen to be related to the CEO of that company or whatever. Okay, just as a, an example pulled out of the sky. Okay. Say if you're trying to make it big on Instagram and y your competition is literally buying views and whatever and that they're buying their way to the top, that is an issue. That is a major challenge to overcome. And that's come out in your energy before as well, Scorpio, quite recently where the message was about you need to remain consistent and you need to uh, remain true. And that's how you're going to climb that mountain. It's never a straight journey to the top. You can definitely expect needing to take detours. Okay. But the point is, as long as you keep moving, you will eventually reach your target. Okay, but being focused and angry and frustrated at other people's <sighs> greed, it's not going to serve you. Okay, it isn't. It's just going to cause further conflict. It's going to make you feel, do you know what, what's the effing point? Being focused on that is going to make you want to quit sooner. And the whole point is that you shouldn't quit. Shield. You need to defend yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you need to defend yourself. Um, keep reminding yourself why you're doing what it is that you're doing. Okay. What else for Scorpio here, please? else for Scorpio. Okay, what's going on with this love energy, this heart energy? So with defending yourself, I'm feeling the appropriate message for that is don't allow someone else to come along and piss on your chips. Okay. Hesitation, schedule, curse, marionette, fate, and compromise. Interesting. Okay. Um, they're suggesting here to keep to a good schedule that is actually going to work for you. You couldn't work schedule because there's no compromise with it at the moment. It's not really working out for you. Okay, there, there's um, mismanagement that's going on. Now, again, if you're one of these that has to work for like a corporate company, that mismanagement could be going on within that company. Okay, so it's not necessarily going to be how you're mismanaging your time or your schedule. It could literally be those who are currently in charge and, and mismanaging somehow. And that's going to be having a negative effect on everybody else. Okay, you got decision, confusion, and worry here with the hesitation energy. 
someone's hesitating when it comes down to making a plan, when it comes down to needing to organize something, that there's hesitation. It could also be hesitation when it comes down to this um, fun, joy, friendship uh, and rest. Hesitating to take a rest. Feeling that there isn't time to take a rest. Okay. We got curse and marionettes. So that's like being, being a puppet. It says dictatorship, domination and reluctance. And then hate, catastrophe and misfortune. I feel that someone is quite possibly trying to pull your strings here. And again, you can take that in your private life or in your career. It all depends on how it resonates specifically for you. I feel that someone is going to be getting shown the door because of their mismanagement. So say, for example, if you're currently being bullied in a workplace, they're making unreasonable demands on you with curse and marionette. The one who's making the unreasonable demands on you is going to be shown the door. So they're not as protected as what they think they are. They're not as untouchable as what they assumed they are which is bad news for them and good news for the rest of everybody else fate and compromise agreement reconciliation and consideration coincidence fatalism, uh, f fatalism and fortune telling fate and compromise I feel that if if your tarot readers yourself, you've been seeing these messages coming out in your energy here for a while. There is definitely a need here for you to start balancing out your energy though. Okay. What's going on with Urus and April for Scorpio, please? stop yeah yeah stop idea stress and daydream <laughs> see how he's daydreaming about going off on holiday writer's block you need to start doing that self-care self-love right now scorpio are you gonna end up putting far too much pressure on yourself to perform and then in a few weeks time you'll end up feeling the negative effects of that you have to stop you have to take a break it's like Stop so that you can think clearly. Stop so that you can hear your own thoughts. This stress energy also indicates a lack of sleep. So it's time for you to analyze what, what are your sleep patterns like? Are, are you getting enough sleep at night? Are you getting a uh, broken sleep? You know, all of this stuff adds up and a lack of sleep does absolutely affect your immune system and when your immune system's taken a knock through lack of sleep it makes you more vulnerable to catching certain bugs yeah i'm going to clarify all of this in a minute with the tarot and see if we can get deeper messages can you tell us about laugers and the firecracker please it's almost like you refuse to allow yourself to get excited about something you need to give yourself permission to actually get excited mask coach introvert endorsement
real estate profession and robbery profession and robbery now what was that I told you about someone buying themselves that they bought themselves the top position and that's who your competition is you couldn't make it up There's um, someone that you've been watching for a while, Scorpio. They present themselves as being a coach. Someone in the know. Could be a spiritual guru. Could be a lifestyle guru. Um, could be a self-proclaimed whatever, whatever. Okay, It's someone who has put themselves in a position where a lot of other people are listening to them and taking lifestyle advice off of them. And you've clocked this person, deception, pretending and inconsistency, mask and coach. You've clocked them, you've clocked them for a while. And it's almost like you were waiting for the day that they were going to get busted. I'm seeing that there is going to be whispers within that particular community where you've clocked this fake coach. Whispers are building right now. And in a few weeks time, those whispers are going to turn into shouts. about that person privacy separate online community persuasion bribe and temptation that's reading to me like you decided not to say anything out loud about that fake coach fake guru whoever it is because you you didn't want you didn't want to take the heat which is fair enough that's your version of Shielding yourself, protecting yourself, knowing when an issue is bigger than you. Possibly afraid of some kind of um, legal ramifications that might have happened should you have spoken out. But you've got now a whole group of people who are speaking out, so it's kind of like safety in numbers type thing that's going on for one. I'm reading this as that individual in a position of power has been taking some kind of bribes. They have been. Real estate, wealth investment and mega project someone's entire wealth has been built off something really quite nefarious it's dirty money it's dirty money here and this is the same person who stood on their soapbox telling everybody else how to live a successful life when their own success was built off of the backs of something really quite nefarious. So your instincts about that individual was spot on. Now, I don't know who that person is, Scorpio. You'll know, though, because you've been watching them. It's someone who is directly in competition with you. You've been watching them for a while hoping that other people would eventually wake up and see through their facade. And it's someone really quite big as well. Someone very well known. Really well known. I don't know if they're flat out famous famous. It's someone who is well known within an online community. Definitely.
I feel that something's about to either explode or backfire. And then that's going to put you in a bit of a moral dilemma with that Laugis, because it's like, shit, I feel really bad for them, but by the same token, they shouldn't have been such a sleaze anyway. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like if they weren't so sleazy in the first place, then they, they, they wouldn't have had anything there that was going to backfire on them. So then that's going to have you questioning, shit, am I a bad person? Because I'm actually, you know, I'm actually smiling at the fact that this person here is met with their own uh, destruction, as it were. No, it doesn't make you a bad person at all, Scorpio. You're just like the rest of us, sick and tired of nasty people and unreasonable people, um basically bribing their way to the top like we're all sick of it we we see we we can all see the corruption for what it is we, and we all have to pay for it in one way or another right we all do it, it's about time that people like that are you know held accountable it's overdue it doesn't make you a bad person at all no not at all not when you're witnessing someone else's chickens coming home to roost. Not when they have faked their entire profession, bought their accolades. No. That's the type of person that tells everyone else that they have to work for free, while they themselves are sitting there with everything already paid for. Do you know what I mean? It's always those with the bigger bank accounts that tell the rest of us that we have to work for free. That's the exact person that's coming out in this energy. They became complacent. That's literally all, all you had to wait for. And I do feel that this has been an on ongoing issue for a while that has been bogging you down emotionally bogging you down their complacency is going to be their own destruction clarify the mountain and thirizaz please thank you promise that's come out in the reverse And merit making also in the reverse, yeah. See, in the upright, this would be about goodness, humanness, and morality. It came out in reverse. They they were immoral. What they did to you was immoral. What they did to others around you was immoral. And promise, when it's in the upright position, is someone who is responsible. It's receiving confirmation and assurance is in the reverse. Someone's gone back on their word. Not you. Someone else has gone back on their word. Fright at the bottom of the deck. Depression, phobia and paranoid. You're going to be able to put this behind you very soon. This is all coming... <laughs> I trust my cards implicitly. This is all coming to a head in a, just a few short weeks' time. You're going to need to be in tip-top condition, mentally uh, and emotionally, for when this happens and that is exactly why spirit started off your read scorpio with look right now you want to see if you can take advantage of your time right now scorpio use this time right now to build up your, your self-love your self-care your, your emotional well-being your mental well-being use this time right now to get a good sleep schedule 
That's a really good place to start. Okay. Because in a few short weeks time, this is going to get busy. Very specifically with an individual that you've been watching for a while and you've had issues with them for a while. You tried to tell other people for a while. It seemed like they weren't interested in listening until it affected them. Now it's all coming out. It's all coming out now. And you're going to have to be there at the forefront and saying, right, here you go, guys. Here's what I've been sitting on for a while. There's the, there's the evidence. There's the receipts. Okay. And then inevitably, you're going to have a lot of people asking you a lot of questions, which again, you're going to need to be on tip top form. You're going to need to be sharp as fuck so that you can answer those questions. Boom, boom, boom. There's, there's your evidence job done. Okay. Because I do suspect as well that this individual at some point made you out to be emotionally imbalanced or unstable or something like that. Maybe even mentally unstable. They, they made you out to be, li literally, that word there, paranoid. And you were not being paranoid at all. You were bang on the money. You were bang on the money. It's all coming out now. So well done you for standing your ground. For not giving up and definitely for not giving up hope. It's inevitable that, that people like this are going to get caught. It's always inevitable. For some of you, this is literally going on within a big company. So there's going to be massive fireworks. And for others of you, this could be going on within an online community that you're involved with. Okay, again, just take it as it resonates. But please do take this on board as well and take full, full advantage of the next couple of weeks to make sure that you're seeing to your own needs. Okay. Make sure that you've got in check your overall wellness and well-being. Okay. What else can you tell us for Scorpio and this situation, please? What else can you tell us? Wow. Okay. Six of Swords. It's a really good start. The Star, beautiful. The King of Cups and the Magician. What's under there? The Page of Wands. Yeah. Um, a new lease of life I'm feeling for you, Scorpio. Okay, definitely. Um, now, apart from the Tyrian energy that we've seen that may or may not have been relevant for you, again, be careful with the Zodiac information, okay? It's more to do with the energy than the actual Zodiac, but for anyone who is interested in what Zodiacs are coming out, I'll let you know. Taurus, obviously, you've got heavy Aquarius. You have your own energy, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. And then you've got um, Virgo Gemini with the Magician. Okay. Um, really? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, right, look at his face. That big smile and the hands like, hi! Over here, hi! I told you! Lick! This is you literally watching everything that you said or that you felt was going to happen to that dishonest person happening. Mm-hmm. And you got the King of Swords under there. You've seen it for what it was. Everyone else was living in denial. When I told you that you were going to be able to put this particular incident behind you, 
You've got the Six of Swords coming out to back that up. Okay. It's finally being able to move on from something. Moving towards what? The star. Healing. Nurturing. Being able to rebuild yourself. You told someone, careful. Careful. With that person or careful with that group. Careful with those people. Because they turn on everyone at some point and your, t your time is going to come. They didn't listen. And there it is. Very much is, I hate to say I told you so. That's literally this message. So, obviously, if this is happening to an individual that, that you love and care for very, very deeply, you perhaps probably don't want to be saying to them, oh, I told you so. Do you know what I mean? Um, approach them with kindness, love and sympathy. Okay, that that's probably going to be the best way to respond rather than, I told you. <laughs> you know, even though, yes, you did tell them, yes, you were correct. But there, there's a doorway here that opens up for some kind of conversation, for some kind of healing, maybe even a reconciliation. Let's say that this, let's say that you fell out with somebody because they refused to listen to you. They refused to listen to the warnings that you gave them. So you've got two very clear paths ahead of you, Scorpio, right now. Okay, this is a doorway opening. And whatever happens next is completely within your control. Okay, King of Cups and the Magician. It's completely within your control. What else for Scorpio Collective, please? else for Scorpio? Yeah. Right, so I just had to go AFK there for a minute, Scorpio, so I could write down the title of your reading. Because uh, I don't um, clickbait the titles, okay? The titles always come from something that I actually did say. You've got 0909 New Beginnings. It says, Great Chance, Opportunity, Courage, Accomplishment, Endings, Conclusion, and Big Love. Yeah. Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. This is it. it. Everything that we've seen in your tarot, this is it. This is the opportunity that is the huge game changer. Okay. You're completing something major and it feels good to level up. Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's literally your entire reading <clears throat> in a nutshell. You could be seeing a lot of um, 0909 at this point in time, or even uh, a lot of 999, okay? Uh, your nines are all about dedication, perseverance, and how you're almost there. It's not actually completion, okay? Completions are your tens or your zeros. Your nines are all about don't rest on your laurels and don't quit don't give up because you're not quite there just yet it's all about that final push okay relationships business partners office love affairs and communication with co-workers are highlighted now make choices with extreme care so make choices in your relationships with extreme care and then you've got wish come true beautiful your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way that you expected. No worries. It is just what you need. Yeah. I've always said, look, um, <clears throat> be careful. Uh, oops, I just dropped all my cards. Uh, be careful what it is that you wish for, because if you were to personify the universe, you'd find out really, really quickly that the universe has got a twisted sense of humor. Okay. Trust me on this one. <laughs> so that that's why whenever it says, look... What you've wished for, it is coming in, but it might look ever so slightly differently than how you had imagined it in your mind's eye. Okay. Right. And then your cheeky deck. Remember, this deck can get a little bit sweaty. Okay. So if you're easily offended, then you don't have to listen. Um, this one says, be the change you wish to see. 
Be the change you wish to see up in this bitch. <laughs> hey you, yeah you, the one who sees what's wrong in the world. Mm -hmm. And who knows the difference between being an activist and being a whiny ass complainer is action. You want the world to be more kind? Then kind the fuck out on people in your life. Hate litter bugs? Then pick up some trash. Can't stand judgmental blowhards? And quit judging them for being so judgmental. It really is that kind of simple. I like that one. <laughs> right, so yeah, that is what I have for you this week, Scorpio. I just genuinely hope that that has been helpful for you. If that reading did help, then can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video. That's going to help keep you engaged with the channel, but it'll also help to push out the message to others as well. Okay, if you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your book in on my website, which is Phoenix Kia tarot.com the link for that is in my description box below thank you so very much for joining me for your reading today and i do apologize for a little monster on the desk <laughs> um i mean she wasn't badly behaved i don't think uh, but yeah thank you again for joining me scorpio and i'll see you in the next one bye